Hello, welcome to another taste challenge. I have from, well, I don't know exactly when, but the company was founded in 1862. Bacardi Gold, Ron Superior, Ron Superior Carta Oro. Superior Gold Rum, that's what that means. From Puerto Rico, originally from Cuba. This was bottled on the 18th day of, sorry, the 298th day of 2018. 298th day of 2018 in Jacksonville, Florida, but it was produced in Puerto Rico. <clears throat> All right. They filter through their special blend of charcoal, which they will not reveal. So it's one of the old classics. You know, you've had Bacardi Gold. Well, maybe not because I only tried it in 2019. All right. I saw it for $11.99 yesterday at Aquista Paces. Then Bacardi, this would be about $30 a bottle. Bacardi Reserva Ocho, the Reserva eight year, aged eight years. This was bottled on the 225th day of 2018. Yeah, it's about $30 a bottle, $28 to $30 a bottle, but I got it for $17.50. True story, $17.50. True story. How how long is the Bacardi Gold aged? Um, <clears throat> I don't know. It's at least one year in white oak, charred white oak barrels, as they say on the website. And their mem Bacardi is a member of the Rums of Puerto Rico. Look that up, the Rums of Puerto Rico. And they, it's a trade association established way back, like in 1933. And it's like a quality control association, like the Louisiana Restaurant Association. If you're a member, you have to do certain things like age your rum in oak barrels. It has to be aged at least a year and such and such. It was a very fascinating website to read. I couldn't read all of it, it so long, but it was interesting. There's, there's the Ocho, the reserve. You can see it's much darker than the gold. So this is gold, and this is more of an amber. Which one's gonna be better? Well, you would hope the $30 bottle would be better than the eight, that $12 bottle, wouldn't you? JTLBZ says, Drink that stuff in moderation. You'll be walking around with a lampshade over your head. Stuff creep up on you. He says, <laughs> uh, at, yes, that's true. Mm, he's got a face going, hmm. Yeah, well, yes, um, you have to be moderate. And I am being moderate because I drank no liquor this weekend. This is it. Starting today and ending today. Drink no liquor Friday, none Saturday, and only this today, Sunday. Had two beers this morning, Guinness, extra stout. And then a uh, bush beer, and then nothing during the day. And then at the in, in, end of the afternoon, I did the Budweiser taste challenge. I drank the rest of the Budweiser. I haven't drunk, have not drunk the rest of the Michelob, but I will. And then these two, that's it. Tomorrow, Monday will be two beers, only two, probably Michelob Amber. Yeah, and something else. Can't think of what. Then uh, Tuesday, yeah, it'll be a taste challenge. Two Canadian whiskeys. What are those? Um, <clears throat> oh yeah, Gibson's finest, Gibson's finest, and Royal Canadian. Oh wait. <laughs> oh silly me. Yeah, that's what it'll be. And then then the um then the Bacardi Reserva Ocho versus Castillo Gold, which will be no kind of challenge. That'll be Wednesday, but I might do a Tuesday for Wednesday, because Wednesday we're doing the uh wild card Wednesday, I think. And then Thursday, the Gibson's finest versus uh black velvet. That won't be much of a challenge. And then the the Bacardi Friday, the Bacardi, but I could do it Thursday afternoon. I don't know. I got to think. But the, the, the Bacardi Reserva 
Ocho versus Doc Skull Gold. Skull Gold. But we have it all planned out. We have it all planned out. It's all planned out. John Neely says, good evening, Ron. I have been very pleased with Bacardi Gold over the years, as have I, but it's only been over the months. You know, not years, just a few months. Okay. Nice, sweet, sugary, oaky thing. Same here, but it smells a little more intense and a little more oaky. I think, I think this is the, you can see it. I can't, I got my eyes closed. Like Jerome Howard. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Larry Fine. Feinberg. Fine. Uh, they both smell sugary, good. I'm glad I got into rum because um, we have so many sugarcane plantations around here, especially on the west bank of the river. I live on the east bank. There are a lot here, close, like right over there. But um, okay, but a lot on the west bank. Oh yeah, just one end, of, one end of the parish, up river, all the way to the end, down river. Be one plantation after the other with sugar cane. This has to be the gold because it's so much less intense, but it's a beautiful aroma. It, they both smell great. I mean, now the question is, will the Reserva Ocho be $20 a bottle better? I don't see how it could be 28, uh, 18 to $20 better, 18 to $20 better, but I didn't think the, the, the Grand Reserva Diaz was $10 better than the Ocho. It was better. It was better, but it wasn't $10 a bottle better, no. Okay, so initially I think this is the gold and that's the Reserva Ocho, but I don't know yet. Okay, let's see. Let's try them out. Wood, a little, a lot of sugar, a little vanilla, some alcohol burn, yeah. It's 40% alcohol, 80 proof. Oh, I was reading the, uh, while we were doing Stout Sunday, everybody was talking. I was listening too. And I was look, also looking at the, uh, the, 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 the Fireball Whiskey website. It's 33% alcohol Fireball. And they said it's made with real cinnamon, real natural cinnamon, not fake, but real cinnamon and uh, Canadian whiskey, blended Canadian whiskey. And I was like, ooh. Blended Canadian whiskey. I wonder what Canadian whiskey are they using in Fireball? That's a fascinating question. I bet it's Royal Canadian because that's like a flat taste, like a very standard. It doesn't have any exotic flavors. So I think it would blend really well with cinnamon to make Fireball, which I've never had. But I know it's like what the second best selling whiskey in America now, uh, Fireball. I know a lady that lives in Ponchatoula. She is an addict. She is addicted to Fireball. Oh, she loves that fireball. Ooh, I'm going to tell her. I'm going to say, hey, Kathy, did you know it was made with blended Canadian whiskey? True story. All right. <clears throat> now, you see, this one seems to be a little deeper in flavor, deeper in the oak, deeper, deeper deeper, more complex, but they're both fabulous. The question, is it $18 a bottle better? Hmm, good question. I don't know yet. Okay, let's see. Backwoods Billy says, cheers, clinking the mugs, clinking the mugs, wine glass, wine glass. Backwoods Billy says, mug, fireball is a popular flavored whiskey, margarita glass. No, not a margarita. What do you call that? Martini glass and a fireball glass and a wine glass, a wine glass clinking the mugs. Hey, so it's funny because I've had Bacardi white and black, but not the gold. I've had the black haze and that is a jewel 100% awesome. Canadian Club 7 was the only whiskey I could drink. It was smooth as can be. I can stick, I just stick to my beer, says Squirrel Dog. Oh, I love that Canadian Club. I've never had Canadian Club 7 year. I had the six year and the five year. Never heard of the seven year. 
I do love some Canadian club. And then John Anile, one of the viewers right at this very time, bought me as a gift the Canadian club special edition 12 year. Oh, baby. Well, I think. Oh, wait. Oh, mama. I think this is better, but I wouldn't necessarily say it's $18 a bottle better. But in my case, I didn't pay $18 a bottle more. I paid $12.99 for the Bacardi Gold at Walmart, uh, $12.89 maybe. And I paid $17.50 for the Bacardi Grand, uh, Reserva Ocho, $17.50. You heard me right. I got it for like $12.50 cheaper than I should have gotten it for, but I didn't ask question because I got a display case with it, glass fronted display case with a humidor and a gauge on it. What a gift, what a gift. I'm going to be hitting up those gifts. Every Christmas season, I'm going to splurge like a maniac. I'm going to buy all the gift packs, all the gift packs, all the cheap liquor because they have it on special at Walmart and all the stores. And then in January, February, March, they have closeouts. I'm going to make the meat. I'm going to make all the meat. All right. I did Boilermakers a long time ago with the old timers. Ha ha. Those were some great times. Backwards Billy says Costco sells liquor near Virginia Beach. Cheap. Yes, they sell it here right in New Orleans, right in New Orleans on Carrollton Avenue. But I've never been in that store in my entire life. But my friend Sonia's been in there. She told me about it. Yes. And we have Trader Joe's right there on Veterans Boulevard in Metairie, Metairie. And I can get so much liquor there. Walmart is higher for beer and wine. No liquor here on Del Marva Eastern Shore, the Delaware, Maryland, Virginia Eastern Shore. Well, I got to say, Walmart here is so cheap for liquor. And they have an, a, a huge array. I, I could literally only go to Walmart and buy liquor and never go anywhere else. And I would never run out of items for my channel ever. That would be an impossibility. It could not happen. How's it going? How's your day, says Justin Moore. Oh, a very good day. A very good day. I woke up at uh, 3.50, got the coffee going, let the dog out, shaved, brushed my teeth, of course, uh, first, then shaved. Uh, went to, We went to 7.30 a.m. Palm Sunday Mass. It was 40 minutes about, you know, it lasted longer than normal. Beautiful blessing. And then we went to eat breakfast, got two eggs scrambled with uh, grits, bacon, and the biscuit, beautiful, and the orange juice. Then did two beers, stout Sunday, Sunday, drank a bush, went to the baseball game. My team lost three to one. That was a little disgusting, but that's all right. Came back, did the Budweiser versus Michelob taste challenge. Now I'm doing this taste challenge. The weather's dry, clear. We get 40 days a year in Louisiana. That's clear and dry. The other uh, 325 are humid and cloudy. Costco is a trip for us, says Backwoods Billy. Well, I'm lucky because Walmart's not even one mile away, less than a mile away, less than one mile. And I can get unlimited, basically unlimited liquor supply. And I mean, it's incredible. You you just wouldn't believe it. You wouldn't believe it. This has got to be the gold. So if if it says B, that's Bacardi because the B8 is Bacardi Ocho Reserve, Reserve Ocho, B8. So this is the gold. I'm saying I pray it is B, Bacardi. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't win, but it holds its own, you know. Justin Moore says, glad to hear. It sounds like a pleasant day. It really was. It really was. The church was packed with people, but it usually is. Um, Holy Ghost in Hammond, right next to the Illinois Central Railroad, the um, Canadian National Illinois Central, been there since 1855. Um They had a lot of people at the game, too, by the way. There was a lot of people at that game. My father was like, I bet there's not many people there since it's cold. I said, you're wrong. I said, no, there's a lot of, pe a lot of people. Uh, Backwood said, did you watch the final round of the Masters golf tournament? Obviously a full day for you. No, but I heard about it. Somebody was walking around at the game saying, Tiger Woods won. I said, Tiger Woods won. I said, now it's not going to be ESPN anymore. It's going to be TWPN. I said that at the game. It's going to be Tiger Woods Programming Network. <laughs> they'll only That's all they'll talk about exclusively on ESPN for the next 12 months. 
Is beer your favorite drink? Says tip and tea. Tip and tea. Is beer my favorite drink? Oh, it's probably coffee. All right. So there's the Reserva Ocho. Would I recommend it? Would I recommend it? Hey, you want to spend $30 on a very good rum? This is one to buy. Oh, yeah, I would recommend this with, without any hesitation. And if you can get it for $17.50 like I did, $17.50 plus tax. Oh, yes, but of course you probably won't. And then I got this for about $13. John and Neely says it's a ripoff because it's much cheaper in Georgia. Well, I'm sorry, but it's not so cheap here. $12 to $13 here, but it, it is what it is, you know. Does Bacardi make great rum? I don't know. There's probably rum snobs that say everything is everything they make is trash and they would rather drink horse urine or they would commit suicide before they would drink Bacardi or they would drink water. If they went to a party and somebody offered them the Bacardi, they would very rudely tell them that they do not drink that and then would lecture them on what real rum is about. But to me, it tastes really great, you know. Mine is soda, then coffee, then iced tea, then beer, says Backwoods Billy. Okay, fair. I'll say another thing about Bacardi. They have a fabulous website. It's just a great website. It's so informative. They got all kind of details about it. Bacardi.com. And then the Bacardi... Bacardi Company website is interesting because they list all the rums they make. And I, I didn't even heard of some of these rums. I mean, I like I never even heard of this. You know, what is all of this? So now the Castillo Gold, that's kind of <laughs> yikes. I hate it so much, but then I'll start loving it, you know, because anything I hate, I end up loving, you know, like it's too exotic to to keep hating, you know. It tastes no, no rum should smell like olive oil, which is making me like it okay let's see uh Bacar, bacardi company other brands like they show their other brands like look at all these brands of rum like you can't believe it i love appleton rum from jamaica especially rum cream then spice rum i never had it tip tip and tea tip Ben Wood T says, you like Fireball? I've never tried fire, Fireball, but I know it's like so popular everywhere I go. It's like surrounded by Fireball. Squirrel Dog says, Johnny Walker Green Label. I had a shot of that before once with my bro. He told me the price of the bottle. I was like, dang, I almost fell back. Oh, I'd love to try Johnny Walker. The only Johnny Walker I ever had was the red label, you know, the base model. But to me, it was like fabulous, you know, for a... How can it be the most popular scotch whiskey in the world and it's terrible you know what i mean it doesn't make any sense i don't think people are drinking johnny walker red label because they hate it you know oh yeah look at these rums this is their other rum brands now i told you about i had the bacardi gold the bacardi black the reserva right the uh Grand Reserva Diaz, but here's the other ones they've got. Anejo, 1873, 1873 Solera, the eight. Oh, that's the one I've got. The Reserva, the Reserva Limitada, the Carta Fuego, the Grand Reserva Maestro de Ron, the Havana Club, Cast Castillo, Silver Gold, Anejo, and Spiced, Oak Heart, Spiced Rum, Palmas, Estellar, Banks, Five Island Rum, Banks, Seven, Golden Age Rum, Single Cane Estate Rums, Worthy Park Estate, Jamaica. Single Cane Estate Rums, Consuelo Estate, J Dominican Republic. Piriat Exo Reserve, Santa Teresa, 1796. Facundo Neo, Facundo Eximo, Facundo Esquisito, Facundo Parezo. That's just the rum. I didn't even mention the vodka the gin, the tequila, the sparkling wine, the aperitif, the, the uh, 
clear rum and spirits brand, the cha the Cahacha brands, Italian vermouth, French vermouth, blended scotch, whiskey-based spirits, single malt whiskey, cognac, liqueurs, spirits distilled from green tea leaves, beer brands, and bourbons. Their bourbon is Angel's Envy. I mean, this company is incredible. I mean, come on, I can't get over this. It burnt from what I recall. I've seen you did Canadian whiskeys for a bit. Are you a fan of Crown Royal? I have tried Crown Royal and I really liked it, but I've never done a single solo review and I've never done a taste challenge, but I've got to buy Crown Royal before the end of 2019, BT 4K. That's sad, right? I've done all these Canadian whiskeys and I've never done Crown Royal. That's like ridiculous, it's like working backwards. Backwards, Billy says Malibu, coconut rum and iced tea and a suntan. I'm totally, I don't know anything about that. Rum cream is like Bailey's Irish cream, but with rum in place of Irish whiskey. Oh, like that, uh, the one that's real popular these days called the rum chata. Tip and tea, my go-to drink is Hurricane High Gravity. That's a very popular one in Louisiana, by the way. Well, uh, okay, not very popular, but it has the following. Crown is not bad. Most popular drink is Jack and Coke, says Squirrel Dog. Jameson is great, says Southern Tip Reviews. Yeah, uh, I have a priest, the pastor of my church, Father Pat, only drinks Jameson. And I was like, Father Pat, you like Jameson, huh? He says, oh, yeah, it's really good. We all drink it in Ireland. <laughs> Cracks me up with that. Victor says, who won? Oh, the Bacardi 8-year, of course, the Ocho Reserve Ocho. Drinking a Miller Lite, says Hayes. Backwards Billy says, Malibu coconut rum mixed with iced tea is called a suntan. Oh, Gotcha. All right. Well, get ready because this week we got a, a schedule for Wednesday and it could be done Tuesday, you understand? And we have a schedule for Friday and it could be done Thursday, you understand? But that's going to be dicey. But we've got the the Bacardi Reserva Ocho versus the, the Castillo Gold. That'll be a laugher, you know, but it'll still be interesting, but it'll be a laugher. And then we've got the Bacardi Reserva Ocho versus the Skull goal. That one's got me a little worried. It's got me a little worried because Skull is overperforming. You know what I'm saying? Skull should be a joke, a laugh, riot, a tragedy. But um, Skull Gold has these intricate little characteristics that set it apart. And you you got to watch that because you go in there and you're saying, oh my goodness, Skull, vodka. We were at a college party in 1989 and Skull, vodka, blah, 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 blah. All right, whatever. Okay, but, but what you have to understand, if you get the Skull gold, rare, uh, uh, rich, rich gold, Skull is called Skull rich gold. Man, that thing's kind of tricky. Like you say $6.99 for a liter, that would be like, gasoline for a lawnmower, but no, no, it's, I would be, I would have a little trepidation trying to go after that with a blind taste test. Now it's easy to slam it when you're not doing a blind taste test. Cause then there's no competition. You're just looking at the label, you know, so you can be very biased, you know, but in a blind taste test, the skull gold could really mess a person up and not to mention the aristocrat gold. Squirrel dog says he's having a Labatt blue light now. Cheers. Oh yeah. That's from uh, Rochester, New York. Yeah, I can't get that. Labat, Labat Blue reminds me of hams. Hams. <sighs> oh, you mean regular Labat Blue, not the uh, not the um, blue light. Yeah, well, the, the the blue light is like a malt liquor. Malt liquor, always malt liquor. All right, well, thanks for in color and taste. Okay. Mm. Mm. Well, fabulous. All right, well. That's been a fun adventure, but you know, uh oh, more comment. Hayes, if you like Miller High Life, you had, a, have you had a Genesee Lager? This is backwards, Billy talking. Genesee Lager is twelve dollars to thirteen dollars a thirty pack. Can't even get it in Louisiana. Uh, tastes of similar ingredients, same carbonation level. Hope, nope, never had one. I I didn't really love Genesee Lager when I had it. I bought it many times. The last time I think it was uh, on U.S. Highway One southbound in Maryland. 
you know that stretch between the Pennsylvania border and Baltimore? Um, when you get south of that dam, where the electrical company has a dam, it was really hot that day, and I was driving in that Mustang. Mustang. I think it was the Ford Mustang. I can't remember, but uh, it was really refreshing in the heat. But you know, on its own, I don't know. I I'd rather the drink the Genesee Cream Ale. I love all Miller products. High Life, MGD, and Light says Hayes. Oh yes, I, I like them too. Squirrel Dog says Genesee Brewery and Utica Club is not that far from me. Hey, <laughs> hey. Uh, yeah, Maria Devon and I went to Utica Utica Club, which is uh, FX Matt and Genesee NAB. We went to both of those three years ago. Yeah, that was a great trip. Special K reviewed Genesee, I think. And actually, when I left, my, uh, the last thing Maria told me was I had a great time. I think she said, be careful driving. Wish Bacardi had never gotten rid of the 151. Oh, I saw uh, another 151 yesterday. I saw uh, the, the, right, the right in nephew, I think it's called. 151, the clear, you know, it's clear, white, West End Brewery. Backwood say, you should try Genesee. Conowingo Dam is the dam you are talking about. Conowingo, yeah, it's a big electric car. It's really a fascinating thing to look at. Backwoods Billy says, Genesee Lager, I reviewed it a few times. Yeah, I remember, I've remember. i seen that. I watched those, yes. I watched. All right, well, I got to go, y'all. So uh, gonna, I'm going to go watch the uh, baseball game, Cubs. <laughs> that team is doing bad right now. <laughs> that is something, huh? All right, thanks.